Hey, what's going on, guys, and welcome to a new video tutorial. Today, I'm going to talk about the my setup behind the scenes of the code editor and what I'm using, like tools and extensions to develop or for web development. So, for 2018 or for any year out there, but this is like my personal choosing of extensions and Visual Studio Code, like the code editor I'm using for web development. So, let me just jump you through that. I have here Visual Studio Code, uh, the code editor I'm using is Visual Studio Code. If you think this is like a bit confusing, uh, this is, it's from Microsoft, of course, and there's two products, there's Visual Studio as you can see down here and this Visual Studio Code is they are completely different things Visual Studio Code is an open source thing and it's like cross-platform available for the three platforms out there so it's official website like Visual Studio I don't know what I'm typing out of in here but Visual Studio Code um, so Visual Studio let me just search for that studio code uh, there's an official website for that from microsoft as i've said it's open source it's very very flexible code so so if you have any other credits you're using for the time being you can move on into this one as you can see uh, very very nice and it's cross platform available for three platforms mac OS, x windows and linux so you can use it right out of the box on your platform out there i really advise you to download this and like just finish or follow the video to see the extension so I'm gonna talk to you about the extensions I'm using in here for achieving better performance and like or making better applications better web development experience all of the kind of things I'm using this extension here so let me just walk you through and talk to you what are those things and why I are very useful for me and why I use them on my daily basis and why I choose like Visual Studio Code rather than not choosing Atom or Sublime Tanks why I have chosen this one specifically because first thing is having like a lot of extensions out there so there's a large library of extensions open source of extensions so you can just download and use them right out of the box and also the community the support community if you have any problem out there you can just type in google search for your problem and boom you're gonna find a lot of solutions out there from stack overflow stack exchange and a lot a lot of other things and one thing other thing is is just like this is an open source and from microsoft so microsoft is just offering a lot of uh, tools for like developers out there so this is one of this and it's very very reliable also for the performance it's just performing very very well and you can use it for a closed platform so when you have linux and windows you can just use it on both of your platforms without changing from one editor to the other so like this, this is the major things that i'm using i'm talking about anyway let's just jump right into the extension on here let me talk to you about so the first thing is we have auto auto close tag so what does this actually mean uh, as uh, you might have noticed in here i have the open up in, in css uh, a js and an html file so just for demonstrating purposes so for this clo auto close tag when you type a tag in here and you just close it it's just gonna uh, complete the uh, the end tag or the close tag for it from the html or anything it's just a very simple thing but it's very very useful when you type the code when you want to type the code very very fast so yeah it's gonna be a very quick solution for you the other one is beautify and beautify is just very very nice from its name you can you can know the functionality just beautify your code and format it and indent your code well if you don't know what i mean by that so let me just say i've put it a div in here and something like it's not indented correctly it's not formatted correctly and i want to put an h1 in here so as you can see it's not indented correctly in here so if you want you can indent it manually but with beautify in here it's just gonna do all of this kind of things automatically on save so when you click control save or go into file and save as you can see it just gonna format as you uh, automatically out there and your code gonna look pretty much very very nice in here so without manual doing or something just gonna be doing it automatically it just supports also uh, javascript and css so right out of the box is gonna support uh, whatever you need out there so yeah you got the point actually that's why beautify is used in here and i really recommend that as you can see there's 1.6 million downloads so yeah you can use that also the other one is bootstrap 3 snip sets and also i know bootstrap 4 is out but you can use 3 i don't know about bootstrap 4 if it has an extension yet but you can search the 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 markets out there to find the extension for the fourth version of bootstrap but the third one i've used this one is gonna give you a lot of class and to nice this thing a lot of suggestions when you type in here i don't know maybe when you click a div 
and you try to put a class in here and it just try to put a button and stuff it's just gonna give you that i'm not activating it or something in here but believe me this is just working very fine if, if you use bootstrap a lot so this is gonna be very helpful for you and bower uh, you don't need this bower but if you use bower there's gonna also an extension for you so this is not like that necessary but you got the points there's also c and c plus plus they're not for web development but if you are a desktop developer as well i really advise you to go ahead and download the, both of these there's also the other ones there is called color info and color picker so this is like for the css and for designers they they just really really gonna come in handy in here so let's say you have an h1 in here and you want to just design your things so let me just put a background color and this for this snippet as you can see here for into license and gives you the uh, complete code or code completion so for this extension uh, I believe it is uh, HTML GSS Beautifier or it's included with the Visual Studio Code yeah it's included with Visual Studio Code as you can see here so right when downloading the Visual Studio Code it's just gonna work for you right out of the box so let me just choose a color and as you can see the color selections as well but let me just try to put a red thing so you put it you get the I don't know, little box. So when you hover it, you get the full information. And this comes from the color info in here. So you hover it, you get the full information of the color. And you can just go ahead and manage that from the color picker. And you can just pick between colors in here, pick between transparency and all this kind of stuff. So this kind of comes in handy a lot when you design your things and try to pick the right color for your design. So you've got the box shot point actually. This is for the color pickers. This is a lot other extensions you might need to use uh, for the empty indent so when you have like empty indented and you save the file this is gonna just as you can see automatically save the file automatically gonna go and disappear so this is what she is doing empty indents for the glsx uh, this is like for the glso if you're familiar with opengl so this extension is for you other than not uh, not for web development actually anyway so let's just jump into highlights matching tag so this actually when you like select a tag it gives you the highlights of tag as you can see between like here curly braces so it shows you which tag belongs to which so this is the parent or this like the the start tag and the end tag or the closing and the start tag so it just shows you which tag belongs to the other so this is gonna help you a lot when you have like a complicated code inside another complicated code and, and all this kind of thing so when you have that it just helps you a lot debug your code and find which tags belongs to each other this kind of thing so yeah you, this highlights dash matching tag so whenever you choose a tag it gives you the parent or the closing and entangle this kind of thing so yeah for, for the other one we have the html boiler palette and this html boiler palette so if you are like the person of who makes html a lot and just trying or very very bored of just html5 and just do it html over over time each time you want to create a new file this one provides you with a boiler pad which means whenever you just put an html you get this like the html5 boiler pads and you get the into license whenever you click that it gets an html document ready for you right out of the box so this is like very very nice thing i know i've used this a lot this for a couple last month but i i believe this is just gonna be very very handy for you so yeah moving on to the other one is the indent rainbow so this is not quietly like that necessary but it really really helps me i find it really really nice in the last couple of months of development and also for python because it's all based on uh indentation so if you are a python developer or you want to get into python i really advise you to go into indent rainbow as you can see this one is rainbow this like indentation rainbow or colored uh, indentation this all happened from this one so whenever you do an indentation you get a colored thing so it shows you which indentation you are in and how much space is all these kind of things so if this, this really matters for you you can use it and i'm using it for a couple of months as i told you it's really really nice Jump into the GS, CSS, and HTML format. So this also one is just formatting your code. Whenever you type things uh, as the beautify thing, so it does the same thing, but it supports a, a bit larger thing. So you can just check out the documentation for this. As you can see, this kind of uh, 
for the format so you can use snippets you commands all this kind of thing but it does the same as the other one there's also laravel 5 snippets and laravel blade snippets so if you are a laravel fan of like you, you do a lot of laravel this is going to help you a lot for providing you with snippets whenever you type the class whenever you type the uh, helper functions so it's just gonna give you instances for that and gives you the list of functions available or lists of variables available or methods or other kind of things so yeah as I told you this is gonna help you a lot there's also Python in here if you if you are trying to get into Python this is also very necessary and for the theme as you can see for the theme I'm using in here for the CSS for the JavaScript uh, any any anything or the whole theme I'm using in here is from the material theme this other couple of themes are very nice like Dracula theme or the uh, flat icon theme all these kind of things but I really like material theme because it comes really really in a nice colors as you can see the blue and the uh, magenta in here and the other like uh, blue thing all of them works just fine so the material theme is for theming the code in here and for opening browser so we just click Control shift p and just open in default browser you can just set the default browser on the settings of this extension and you click that it's just going to open up the html file on default browser very very quickly without just going in ahead and find a new HTML5 or HTML file and just open it manually you can do it using this extension so also the other one is path into license so path into license it gives you uh, whatever your directory is when you are searching for directories gives you into license that let, let me just say let me go ahead in here let me create another directory my let me name it my dear and my or this is a file actually not a directory okay so let me just create a directory again uh, my dear so whenever I try to go to this directory let me put it that on a string and forward slash as you can see it gets in detention thing or it gets into license so app.css my dear and if there is another directory in that directory gonna give you into license about that it's just very very helpful if you have a lot of complicated like nasty children dears of other directories and stuff like this also this kind of comes in handy a lot for the PHP, you might use the PHP doc blocker, PHP formatter, and the PHP interlifence, not interlifence, but interlifence for the PHP. If you are a fan of PHP or we use PHP a lot, also this can comes in handy. For prettiers, also for code formatter, I use, uh, you, you might have noticed, I use a lot of code formats in here, but yeah, this is really, really nice ones for prettier and beautify and all these kind of things. It helps you prettify or your or format your code a bit more professionally in here so you can get this as one the same and yeah I believe this done so yeah I have the last one here is to do highlighter so for the to do highlighter is just gonna highlight whenever you put a to do so under comments so you don't forget about your to do so you can just see them whenever you browse your code again or you just check out your code as you can see when I put that I get this highlight matching even though this comments not available or not variable in the HTML but yeah you can get the point so to do and it gives you that yellow color so whenever you just jump through or browse through your code you're gonna notice that there is a to do and try to fix it and all this kind of stuff it's just notify you that there is a to do and you must do it so it's a very nice thing comes in handy and sublime text key map as you can see this key map little key map in here if you have a lot of nasty code and you just try to just scroll in between lines and find all this kind of stuff you can just check out or see from the this map in here uh, try to see whatever you need to go and just browse from that just comes in handy a lot if you have or work with a nasty code and yeah, Visual Studio Dark Theme also for the dark theme as you can see in here and also Visual Studio icons for the icons in here. Whenever you put JavaScript, you see an, an, an icon, cool icon in here for JavaScript, an HTML account, CSS, a lot of other things supported in here, JSON, Node.js, a lot of other things from this cool one from Visual Studio Dash icons. So you guys, the pretty much it guys, those were my setup for Visual Studio Code and yeah. If you like this, make sure to put, push the like button, subscribe, why not, and I will catch you in the next one.